Hello, my name is Scott McConnell. My name is Scott McCompton, My name is Scott McCompton, and I designed and built a fixture to demonstrate the function <laughs> of a four planetary transmission. And to start, I'm just going to demo the transmission for you. So the idea of my fixture is to basically operate the transmission and normally there'd be a group of students standing around and they'd be able to touch it and play with it. So we had a four mile T transmission donated to the apartment or the department. We had no effective way to demo the transmission. And the planetary transmissions are still very relevant in modern automobiles and they're used in automatic transmissions still. And my project explores the design and manufacture of a suitable fixture to effectively show the transmission as it operates to students. My initial requirements before I began the design was that the, trend, the fixture must fit on the hook countertop and I set a two by two foot goal for the base. Um, there must be an electric motor to spin the transmission, it must be light. I originally set a 45 pound goal and vibration and noise must be minimal. And for my success criteria, uh, the internals of the transmission uh, must be visible. Uh, the, you must be able to shift the transmission, and the transmission must not destroy itself more than your ESQ. These are some initial concepts I have. This is a this is a sketch. This is a brainstorming sketch. Um, like a lot of new engineers, I just had all kinds of crazy ideas. I had like a gear pack and a clutch and tachometers and stuff, and this was just pretty crazy. And then for one of my first designs in SolidWorks, I, had, I was using steel rod and a complicated truss. Um, this was a little bit crazy too. Um, I was going for a truss to be light and strong. And then one of my first ideas was to make some sort of braking mechanism up here where you would have a cam that would press against a brake pad that would halt the transmission. But then I learned um, that you can just use your hand and it stops the drums just fine, so there's no issue there. I didn't need to do that. This is my final design that I did in SolidWorks, and you can see I ended up using um, half-inch steel tube. 
This is a sample drawing of my frame assembly. Uh, it is compliant to ASME Y 14.5, and I had drawings for all my parts. And I ended up with just a simple single triangle design, uh, very strong, light, simple to manufacture. And I did abandon the brake assembly. Um, I also went with square two because it's you can just buy it anywhere and it's easy to work with and weld. And also square two has a greater high value than um, solid rock and for the amount of material used, so it's lighter and stronger. And you can see down here these are a couple stress formulas. Um, the larger I value you get, uh, the less stress you get. So that is important. Um, for my first analysis, I did a gear ratio analysis by County of T. And you get 101 for high, 2.75 and 1 for low, and negative 4 to 1 for reverse. I assume my maximum flame de deflection would occur in the lower member where the uh, lower roller is, right here. This, this would be the maximum deflection because that is taking up most of the weight. I did a shear stress analysis in the axle. And the, the uh, normal shear uh, was very, very low. Um, it was, uh, there was only going to be 234 PSI and well before the uh, 27,000 uh, PSI capacity of the material. Uh, the, there was an issue with the motor is capable of putting out enough torque according to the manufacturer to actually twist and snap the lower axles. So, if somebody decided to just like wrench down on the flywheel, there could be some damage to the axle. But I did put a chain in there which would transfer some forces to the other axle, so they might not break. And for manufacturing, I used, uh, like I said, tubular steel. And what I did was I actually printed out patterns in SolidWorks with one one scale and I cut my two, my members here um, based on the patterns I printed out in SolidWorks, which allowed me to get um, accurate angles. And some of the processes I used for the output shaft hub assembly, uh, I, it was turned, bored, drilled, reamed, um, drilled again, uh, TIG welded, and then had a bearing pressed in. So use just, just the part alone, use most of the machine processes we have available here. And these bearing insert locks, which are these blocks here that have bearings inserted in them, um, they were actually milled and reamed to manufacture those. And then I also made custom aluminum spacers for my lower rollers. And custom drive shaft. Uh, these are some pictures that show me attempting to square up the the frame as uh, my dad was actually helping me weld, and then we could easily fill in gaps that occurred. This is um, the output shaft hub, and uh, you can see this is my final boring operation, and you can see some of the processes of the outside was turned, the inside was bored, this bar was pressed in um, through ream holes, and then the inside was milled out and then finished boring to get an interference fit with the bearing. And these are, these are actual skateboard wheels that I cut grooves into, and this is just me showing you the, uh, my drive shaft and this is the final product down there. So for testing, I determined that deflection would be the most critical factor in my frame. Uh, shear stress in the frame was negligible. So the transmission does weigh 52 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. And I originally calculated a 0 0.0076 inch deflection at 0.1, which is right here. 
uh, where all the weight is. All the weight is on point one for the most part. So for my results, I'll have a video showing my testing. I don't think we have sound, but that's all right. Um, basically, uh, my father is assisting me. He's lifting up and lowering the transmission. And this is my dial indicator. And as you can see, I was not expecting this. I'm not even, uh, it's a little blurry, but I'm not even getting a one thou deflection in the member, which surprised me since I predicted a seven thou deflection. Any questions? 